good afternoon really cold outside but really warm in the greenhouse um, I've been to Lidl's um, because they had a multi-headed tool on offer so I thought I'll give this one a go it cost me £17 so let's take a look at it and see what it's like this is the multi-headed tool from Lidl's £16.99 I'm going to open it up and see what it's like um, as you know there is an expensive brand on the market and I thought it would be good when we're at the allotment because we have no shed so we have to take tools up so I thought let's give this one a go see what it's like it's certainly heavy Thursday the 27th, I think today of April. So these are on sale today. So a three part handle by the looks of it. Ah, so you can have them small. So you can have a small handle and you can have an adjustable handle by the looks of it. So let's put that together. So one big handle, okay, and then do you lock it? And so here it is. We have got what I like is a handle. So if you want to do raised beds or a short handle, you've got that. You've got a weed hoe, a rake, just the right size for between rows, a cultivator, which is on there, and a double hoe. So, I'm about 5'9" and find ladies tools too small for me but this is with the cultivator on and it's a decent height i'm going to try working it and give it a go and see what it's like well this is my bee border and First try, like the length. I'm going to try out all the different tool heads and let you know. But really pleased with the length of the hoe. I'll get working and then let you know how I get on. Right, the cultivator seems to be working well. I'll let you on the, know on the rake when I get to the finer teeth. Well, it's getting chilly. Um, I've dug up some strawberry plants that had spread in what would be my bee border. So I was going to um, possibly make a gutter hanging garden for them in the polytunnel um, in the um, brassica cage which we made out of the polytunnel frame but I just suddenly thought essentially that's a bit like a shade tunnel because it's got quite dense netting and I'm not sure how the strawberries would fare because they need sun so I do think about in the greenhouse doing a piece of drain pipe up there but it, I don't know how to fix it and if I use some soil with quite a bit of perlite on it it would take some of the weight out but I'm still stumped so I need to think about that no and I've got the answer but these things need to be planted up ASAP so I might just have to use my old strawberry planters which are pretty naff because they're plastic bag ones 
Okay, I'll come back to you when I've made a decision. Tomato plants were struggling out the ground and I can't see a safe way of fixing gutter into a glass pane greenhouse from the middle at the time being. So I've just put them in some old troughs I've found until I can create some space for my strawberries. So there we go, strawberries in a tub. Had to abort the last idea. I think the Brassica tunnel is going to be too shady for strawberries. It's getting cold out there. I've had to have bought the strawberry idea. I think the Brassica cage is going to be too shady to suspend the gutter in and I'm not sure about being structurally sound that way in the greenhouse. I'll get my hubby to look but as they're struggling a bit as I dug them out the bee border today I put them in troughs for the time being until we decide what to do. Well I've used the rake and the cultivator on this new multi-headed tool from Lidl 1699 proved to be ro well as robust as you can check on a single use um, Obviously time will tell how long they last. If you've bought one, let me know what you think. If you have the more expensive model, do they, are they as robust as made out and do they last as long and stay in good neck? Now for the fleece. Right, as it's so frosty still, even though it hardened up, I've put a bit of fleece on for the time being, just to be extra sure.